Yes, sir. I'm, I'm always here all years to listening to everyone. Uh, uh, just to say good evening to everyone again, because when we were giving our introduction, we were also giving videos off. Uh, being a, okay, I understand network issues can happen, but uh, <laughs> for a person who is into psychology, it's a very major fault. Ho jata hai. We get habituated and trained to pick up your nonverbal cues. So I was searching, I laptop in my laptop, searching, Kaun bol hai? how does a person look and what are the expressions? So you know, I can have a uh, estimate Kya aapke expectations and so then I can just go back to Nitin sir and tell that we have to fulfill karna hai, you know. Anyways, I think with the course of journey, the, the things would go more interesting is what my expectations is, uh, expectation is. Also, as I was uh, going through, uh, listening through the diversified group here, uh, I mean, intrigued uh, aspect was, uh, I'm sorry, I don't know the name of the person, but marine engineering and into this field. Mm. That was something which I had never expected. Uh, engineering, se hote hai, samaj mein, marine engineering, specialized field, se, is field mein aana, well, it's a good thing. Uh, a lot of uh, us, including me and you all, uh, psychology is very influenced hai, and kind of we find it, uh, uh, you know, uh, impressive, interesting. But I'll tell you, psychology is very boring. Hai. Ye mere, mujh so se or uh, jo Sunanda ma'am or unki partner abhi jo kar rahe hai, trust me, theories se hamari dimaag ki nahi ban jati hai, to be very honest, theories, theories, theories and theories. लेकिन जितने वो बोरिंग है ना इससे कहीं से ज्यादा उसका एप्लीकेशन इंटरेस्टिंग है इफ यू नो व्हाट टू अप्लाई हाउ टू अप्लाई एंड व्हेन टू अप्लाई सो आई थिंक जो हमारी जर्नी की शुरुआत है जो गोल है हमारी टीम का वो यही है टू गाइड यू इन डूइंग व्हाट नीड्स टू बी डन व्हेन इट नीड्स टू बी डन एंड हाउ इट नीड्स टू बी डन आप लोग सब मतलब नितिन सर जेसना मैम सावन सर वर्तिका मैम पूनम मैम Sunanda ma'am, these are our team members, these are experts in fingerprinting analysis. I am not even aware of this. My pure domain and uh, uh, field is psychology and counseling. Hai. But as a researcher, I am the one who would take the torch-bearing uh, status to portray or to put it across that this particular aspect has a great significance and role to play if you are interested in psychology. So, this is a statement that is purely research based uh, aspects. Se aap ko main share kar, aap se share kar Having said that, uh, Nitin sir has uh, permission di hai ki, uh, I can just go ahead with the interaction. I think it's a very good I think it's a very good Google. Kiya ho. Uh, I want to know what are the diversified answers of this group to the question that I asked. What are the two names? Criminal uh, pra- uh, lawyer or criminal advocate? Uh, I think Sheetal ma'am ne mentioned kiya tha. So, jitna acha criminal profiling unka domain hoga, I think wo kisi or koi or samaj nahi paega. And she can very well relate to how psychology plays a role. So, mera question abhi bhi vahi hai. Because having invested almost uh, 18 years in this field, still I'm struggling to find a, a, an appropriate answer. ये माइंड और ब्रेन दो अलग चीजें क्यों बनाई गई क्या शब्द क्यों अलग हैं क्या है क्या ये तो व्हेन एनीवन कैन हेल्प मी हां जी हां जी नितिन सर कृतिका मैम इज नॉट कंफर्टेबल विद हिंदी तो फाइन गो हेड विद प्योर इंग्लिश ऑलराइट ओके कमलेश सर मेंशंस ब्रेन इज फिजिकली प्रेजेंट यस वेरी वेरी मच आई थिंक दैट्स एवरीवन वुड एग्री इज माइंड एब्सेंट दैट वुड बी द क्वेश्चन देन no, sir. Mind is, uh, can I say something? Yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so brain is physically present. Mind is present, but it has no physical appearance. Okay. okay. That way, comparison. That's one basic thing. thing. Second True. thing, mind, you can uh, you can interpret mind as in attention. For example, if you have five senses, and if you have five folders on the computer, the cursor cannot open all the, all the uh, folders at a time, once at a time, right? So our five senses, the mind goes only with one sense at a time. Okay. It's your All attention. Right. So you can interpret as in people who don't understand the mind, it's your attention. So right, when I'm talking to you right now, somebody's honking at the back, I'm, uh, I cannot listen it because right now my mind is with you. But I okay. do all these things through the brain. So Kamesh, sir, uh, synonymously associate mind with attention. He's right. However, I'm still searching for answers. 
So all those, let's have an open forum discussion and I would be happy to be proved wrong with my explanation. That's the challenge of my learning. And that's the journey of my learning, to be very honest. Uh, I mean, there's no ego. I mean, it's not that you can prove me wrong. There's no fun in it. But intellectually, you can prove me wrong. There's a lot of fun. So I would invite everyone to contribute, mind or brain. Attention, yes, Kamlesh sir is right. Someone said about cognitive uh, uh, mind mapping or cognitive brain. Uh, I'm sorry if the lady or the gentleman who is here. Cognition plays a role. What is cognition? It's a very good word, seriously. But it's what is it? Jaisa ma'am would have all smiles because me and her go hand in hand with psychology. Right? So, yeah, so cog- yes, I, yes, I was talking about uh, uh, CBS, cognitive behavior yes, science. So, so it is, it is more of... Um, I I recognize and then see I part of part of this is coming from my theoretical learning and some of this also I I kind of tried to experience it right I don't know how much of this actually I've uh, I've uh, uh, experienced or realized right but then let me share whatever little I know um, see um, it's more of um, what I perceive um, right I, I'm seeing something. I'm listening to something, um, or or I or or probably there's a touch feeling, right? All this is processed in my physical uh, part of the body, which is brain, right? And then the moment I recognize, okay, this is a noise, this is a vision, uh, this is a touch, right? And then immediately something, uh, maybe a software, if I can relate it to, that goes back to into my memory and then searches for what is this. So it tries to recognize, okay, this is um, a, a probably a sound of a train, sound of a bus or something like that, right? Uh, so this is a noise that is generated from this place. So it recognizes that. And then the moment I recognize that, this also connects to, to, to a feeling that I got uh, when I had that experience first. Uh, probably a coffee that I get from my wife um, immediately, it, it, my mind goes to my past and then says, this coffee tastes like this one. Uh, I had it in Indian railways, which which probably is good or I don't, uh, which is not good, right? So it immediately relates to that. Sometimes it says, uh, this doesn't taste like the coffee that my mom used to give me, right? Um, and again, my, my mind again says, okay, based on my experience from the past, it accesses my memory and then says, you know what? Don't say this to your wife. So, so it, it kind of gives me, it kind of gives me those directions, right? So that's what the mind does. So it kind of attaches um, my emotions and feelings to every, uh, every, every memory that I have, uh, every memory of myself, every memory of, uh, I have about others, which is, which is nothing but the pile of ego, if I can call it, right? That's part of my ego. That's part of the I. So my, my mind is something which goes back, relates to it and then adds those feelings to it, right? I like it, I don't like it. So my whole life is stuck between these two. I, I think that's what mind does. That's what cognition is all about. Cognitive After I recognize an incident. Uh, sorry, sorry, Nizam, sir, you were saying something. Yes, sir. I think your net is not stable. Oh, is that so? Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. Okay. Can, can, can I add a point here? Can I add a point here? Yes, please, uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, sorry. Okay. I thought somebody else. Okay, my bad. I'm going on mute now. Do we have something called mind? We only have brain. See, the thought of that brain, of that individual, it works in two types. Emotional and logical. That's what I understand. Because I don't think we have something called mind. Whatever the mind does, it's the same brain does. The only thing is that which it uh, values more, the ways more. It can be the logical thinking or the emotional thinking. Emotional. Just uh, correct me if I am you no, know, if I am wrong, because this is the result that I have received. I mean, you know, uh, after a long way of struggle uh, <laughs> as an individual. My mind uh, wanders, my mind wanders, my mind travels. No, it's just my one, I mean, my thought uh, wanders. It can be an emotional thought. So I am a bit confused here. 
so much sir uh, let me add up here uh, 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 yeah Yes, no. Gornam, just give me a second. Uh, let me just yeah. uh, comment on uh, Sumesh sir's uh, one ask, one one uh, topic here. Uh, I think let's not correct anyone if you're wrong. I tell you why. The best learning is if you're wrong. I, I go by, you know, Nitin sir and Jessna ma'am would immediately say that I've got reverse prints in my hand and that is the reason <laughs> I always go by reverse logic. But trust me, the reason, the knowledge and experience I carry is because I had reverse logic. Why is this like this? Why it is not like this? What would happen if I do it exactly the opposite? My father used to always guide me. Don't touch it. And the first thing I want to do is I want to touch it. I do not open that electric socket. It will give you an electric current. But no, 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 no. How would it? How can that give me an electric current unless I open and touch it? And once touched, oh, it gives a strong jolt. Now I think it's better that we all end up asking silly questions and commenting wrong answers onto that, so that you know the debate opens and we. End up getting uh, uh, new horizons of learning as answers from the others. That collective learning, which I have gone through the, the entire process of my uh, training and development. Uh, however, uh, uh, before Bhavna Ma'am uh, speaks, I would say, uh, uh, Nitin sir, I think uh, Lakshmi sir is your uh, next target for psychology training. Huh? He <laughs> the concept of cognition beautifully. Trust me yeah. on this. Yeah. So I think you can just uh, get in touch with him to start making him a good trainer. Anyways, uh, sir, I think just just to warn you, I call Jesna and Rishi yeah. psycho the rapist. Rape. They people <laughs> get mad after studying uh, so <laughs> in depth of the psychology. Let the journey begin with everyone will end up deciding it. <laughs> Uh, okay, before concluding, uh, let, let's go ahead. Uh, Bhuvana ma'am, please go ahead. We want uh, to say something. Okay, no, I just wanted to say my brain is like the hardware. Like a computer has hardware, but uh, somebody has to use the computer for it to work. Right? Mind is like that. So mind is, you can call it the software or the, the brain is just an organ. But somebody has to use that brain. Just like our body is a waste if we are not aware. Awareness is what makes us alive. And You're very right. The same awareness is what contributes to our mind. And uh, like in yoga, we say mind, body and soul to be in unity for us to be to reach a certain level. Similarly, just the brain is no use. It can be a dead brain with the mind not working. So uh, one uh, can't very, do without very the other. Yes, yeah, huh. one can't do without the other. That's yes. a very good statement. I think uh, Jesna ma'am and we all, the entire team is uh, very effectively able to pick up the con kiske zones kitne powerful hai, you know. Yes, yes, na. Who is logical? Who is rational? Who is emotional? Uh, who is self-oriented? Who is outside-oriented? We'll come to that as the journey goes. Hanji, anyone else would want to add up? There is a reply in chat. We identify brain with uh, uh, from Prabhaji. We identify brain with specific functions associated with different parts. Mind is abstract in form that can be related to conscience. Basically, we have understood the process of thinking as a function of mind. Very well written. Uh, hi, I uh, just I, I just hope that it is right, but I've just shared it <laughs> from my understanding. <laughs> Ma'am, if it is wrong, then it is definitely right. But Thank because you, if sir. it is right, then I don't think so. We have anything more to discuss. Absolutely. So let's go by the logic that it should be wrong, but in a way to be talked and shared is right. So Absolutely. we'll come to that. I think we have the youngest uh, uh, person here, Prasun, I think, uh, who is uh, the youngest in age, I, I believe. So, uh, Prasun, if you're able to hear me, can you answer anything on what is brain and what is mind? I'll be very happy to know your answer. Uh, I am thinking about the topic. Uh, I'll, I'll answer. I, will, I have a little bit more to think about. I have some different opinions about it. So, Okay, Prasun, uh, you're thinking from which uh, part, which center, brain or mind? Both, both to be honest, oh. uh, because uh, I'm interpreting with my brain that you're saying something and I need to, uh, like, my mind process. will be thinking about it and it'll process okay. and then it'll answer. Uh, so, so I guess they both are same and they don't really have that much okay. of a difference. So Prasun, I think uh, you're taking the input from brain and generating output from mind. 
am i right yeah kind of kind yeah, of that's that's it jayati jayati i want to say something yes yes jayati ma'am please go ahead so uh, according to me uh, again somebody did mention the hardware software part of it if i were to look at it as a camera and the image being projected on it uh mind being the physical organ uh you know, sorry the brain being the physical organ uh, is like that camera unit uh whatever images are getting uh, projected on it is what i would say mind but i mean there are concepts like brain will physically be at one place the mind can uh, you know trans uh, not getting the word okay uh, move across yes. time zones move right. across regions be at different places at the same time so that's that's an ability that the mind has the flexibility that it has um that, that i, I think uh, just to encapsulate uh, jayati is mentioning to the fact that mind has uh, a limitless capabilities correct i think if if i can put absolutely all right okay perfect perfect anyone else if not then i'll go towards conclusion why am i even talking about this topic because it's going to be important ah da da we have two chat uh i'll just open the chat here to see all right uh specific uh, perhaps mind is akin to sound in that it's produced by the brain like speech and talking i've heard this idea from one of the guru's lectures okay brain is hardware mm -hmm. mind is a software all right perfect that that's absolutely uh, the case now having said that uh, chalo let, let's let's just encapsulate it in a very simple language here all of us including me is agreeing to the fact that brain is the hardware mind is a software sabse proper definition prasun ki thi if if it all uh, you know i have to give a compliment i i tell you why most simplified version the most simplified version let's take this as a question here can brain function without mind or can mind function without brain i think none would answer as yes they can't it has to be hand in hand however there are clinical researches wherein brain has been an incapacitated organ but still there are thoughts there are emotions i think if you can google you can come across technology wherein thoughts have been pictured and photographed emotions have been felt and measured matlab stomach has been removed fir bhi us uh, uh, patient ko bhook lag rahi hai how is that possible that means as uh, jati was mentioning mind has boundless capabilities so according to me i would say brain is nothing but your inherent potential you are born with so someone was talking about uh, a genetic based something i don't know i am not uh, very equipped with that word genetic brain mapping or something i heard that from someone so what happens is what is genetic uh, diffusion what is the entire journey of that pregnancy in the development of of the kid or, or i'm sorry of the of the child nothing but your brain fingerprinting brain fingerprinting is actually creating or developing the potential you me as an individual would carry however that is not the exact measurement of your potential why because it has no output brain is just an input receiver nothing more than that and then no wo humne computers jab padhte to dekhte na input cpu and then output is a simple flow chart brain is just the input because brain ke sath we use these words five senses so they work in tandem with brain input ab jab janam hota hai you in, uh, you interact with environment you interact with people you get to know who is your father who is your mother you get to know who is your surrounding what are you who are you eventually in your entire life span you realize who you are what you are why you are and you come to know about your potentials your swot analysis strength weaknesses options and threats right ye mind hai which is nothing but the central processing unit which encapsulates cognition emotion learning memory intelligence personality and what not sorry i take the word personality back let's let's just uh, fix it up to learning intelligence uh, cognition memory all these aspects finally input aa gaya processing ho gaya but the behavior is incomplete without the output 
तो वी डोंट स्पेंड अर लाइफ बींग अ टॉडलर अड जिसका आउटपुट रैंडम है नो वी लर्न द वेज टू गिव आउटपुट डिपेंडिंग ऑन द कंडीशन सिचुएशन वी आर इन वी डेवलप अ करियर So as I was intrigued and happy to see someone from marine uh, engineering is into this field, which means that this gentleman has realized something different in his potential, or he might have been intrigued well, uh, which is a different science. Having said that, you want to put that into action, which is the fundamental, inherent requirement of every human and animal. Have you ever found any human being or any animal without a physical movement? चाहे फिजिकल लिम्स वर्किंग ना हो तो भी नो फिजिकल मूवमेंट इंक्लूड्स इवन योर थॉट्स बिकॉज इफ यू इफ आई पिक्चर योर थॉट्स यू विल हैव न्यूरल ट्रांसमीटर्स बीइंग रिकॉर्डेड वेरी एफिशिएंटली व्हिच मींस फिजिकल मूवमेंट्स हो रही हैं अब जब फिजिकल मूवमेंट और हो रही हैं तो वो एक्शन जनरेट होगा ही व्हिच इज द आउटपुट सो ब्रेन टेक्स द इनपुट माइंड प्रोसेसेस दैट इनपुट एंड देन क्रिएट्स एन आउटपुट और माइंड कुछ कर नहीं सकता आउटपुट तो जनरेट कर दिया देन इट्स जॉब इज डन सेम एज अ सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट अब उसके बाद मॉनिटर के स्क्रीन पे दिखेगा ना कि आउटपुट क्या आया सो माइंड सजेस्ट दैट प्रोसेसिंग सजेस्ट एंड सेंस बैक दैट प्रोसेसिंग टू द ब्रेन जो फिर आपको डिवाइड करता है लिम्स में या आपके बॉडी लैंग बॉडी के पार्ट्स में एंड देन यू डिस्प्ले दैट आउटपुट एज सिंपल एज दैट टू डिफाइन इट इन वन वर्ड और वन लाइन ब्रेन इज द इंटरनल ऑर्गन mind is the output and the reflection or the executioner of that internal organ nothing more than that it's as simple as this why would i start this as a topic on the very first session is a very simple reason puri journey mein hum yahi struggle karne wale hain ki hum deal kise kar rahe hain brain se ya mind se the reason you enter into fingerprinting analysis you are actually trying to decode the genetic predisposition or the inherent potential the individual is born with so you have to understand what potential the person the 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 gentleman or the lady carries how can you expect the water flow from a half inch tap as compared to a 2 inch tap it's impossible so jab uska bandwidth hi utna nahi hai i mean you take up your uh, broadband connection of 1 mbps and you expect it to deliver 2 mbps of speeds it's impossible so uh, is your client or you or me or anyone for that matter are we born with that inherent potential if the answer is yes are we displaying that inherent potential and justifying and utilizing it for the maximized profit to get sustainability happiness uh, recognition and what not in our life if the answer is yes perfect we have a stable life if not then i think we are missing out on something which we need to work upon which we need to carry upon i'm sorry my network might be just a little up down so the video might get switched off so the entire journey we talk about inherent potential versus the output but in fingerprint we use this as a tool to understand whether the input and output are balanced or not or they are out of sync or out of balance so technically jab aap ye sab uh, statements questions clients ya khud ka experience we feel karenge every one of us has gone through simple words like stress anxiety frustration aggression emotions uh, emotional vulnerability ups and downs and last khatarnak word depression trust me this is not a big deal everyone can handle it at your own level if this was possible psychologists were not needed so technically the problem is is every individual able to handle this if yes how you know you might have heard cancer survivors the doctor said uh, 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 mera ek saal hai 6 mahina hai and the person survived 20 years can someone uh, to whom the doctor recommended or oh, don't worry he is going to be fine for 5 years i'm sorry to say that he is no more even after 6 months how would you uh, judge that balance between what the brain does and how the mind interprets we use this fingerprint as a tool to measure whether this balance is maintained whether it is effectively maintained and if not we try to judge we try to decode and decipher we try to teach and train ki imbalance hai to so, se balance mein kaise convert kiya jata hai 
I've just encapsulated if Jaisna uh, Ma'am and Nitin Sir uh, would agree to my presentation of what entirely this 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 you know uh, journey is about. It's not about uh, 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 you know multiple intelligence. Mehrbani karke nothing to do with intelligence. Nothing to do with multiple intelligence. It's purely about potential. It's about balancing your potential with your present situation. It's about knowing who you are. what you can do versus what you are doing which includes me as well uh, being a psychologist as any i do i have not gone through the phases of depression or stress myself i think uh, every other day uh, we encounter especially jab ek client se milte hain and if the client touches some aspect of your life which is emotionally sensitive you end up uh, getting this disturbed i am a human being as well now in that case should i be visiting a psychologist no 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 i got an ego I am an established psychologist. I should never visit another psychologist. What is he going to think? What would Jaisna interpret about me if I am uh, going for counseling to her? What would my clients interpret if I am going for counseling to her? This is going on in our midst. Am I doing it right? What is the other person going to think about me? Am I doing it wrong? Why am I doing it wrong? Why am I even doing it? Is my career choice right? Is my career choice wrong? Why am I doing it wrong? Why am I even doing it? Is my career choice right? Or why am I not successful? So these are simple questions which we have come across. and which we try to find an answer every field will have a different set of answer but scientifically to put it across i think the most reliable clinically and statistically most reliable is your analysis of input versus your uh, output that you are generating so aaj agar aap fingerprint decoding seekh jate hain samajh jate hain i think not accurately but fairly just by look at the print you can you know gather a general picture ki ye person aisa hi hai you know we have encountered people uh, in our life span we get impressed bahut acche lagte hain they they talk good they they make good sense some uh, with, with some people we connect emotionally well with some we just don't we just don't gel up why is it their fault or is it us we as fault pata nahi pata nahi the reason let's go through the uh, to the fingerprinting analysis once to know are they matching their inherent potential even to the extent this entire science would also connect you whether you're spiritual or not whether you are emotionally sensitive or not whether you have that uh, uh, potential and capacity to absorb learn grow or not so do all those who have logically a very strong mindset should end up disagreeing to what each of us would be presenting but that will define his rigidity if the inherent potential says logically driven input is important wo ek aur input potential suggest karega is that person open to logically redefine so i think ye ek puri journey ka encapsulation hai plus when we move forward with these sessions i think jo maine shuruaat mein bhi kaha tha i'll just uh, round it up to my first statement that i began with not keeping any definitive learning in mind is equivalent to learning new thing so jo bhi humne seekha hai usko park karke rakhiye usko bhul mat jaiye unlearn mat kariye park karke rakhiye and then jo agar aap yahan jo journey mein what you are whatever you going to go through let's try to combine both gain much better stronger and more uh, profile learning about your own self about us and about others so i think that's what i would want to clarify or put it across as why mind and brain was brought into the discussion and i hope if i have clarified it very uh, uh, clearly however if there are questions i'll be really happy to take